Aries, what's going on? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. We're doing your, let me move over in the middle. <laughs> We're doing your general love reading for August 26th of 2024. How are you guys feeling? It's good to see you all. I hope all is well with you, your loved ones and your pets. I was like, damn, it's been a minute since I did Aries. Let me do Aries tonight. I gotta do Virgo too. How y'all been? Y'all had a good weekend? I hope you did. Hope you've been blessed and feeling good. Let's see what's going on in your love life. What's happening? What's happening in your love life? Oh, this, this card does not belong in here. It's a few of them. How they sneak in here? It's everything, right? Yeah. Thank you, angel. Thank you, spirit guys. Thank you, ancestors. Let's see. Soulmates. First card, Aries. Awesome. Deep love, unity, connection. Obscurity. That's the card that was turned over. Secrets, mysteries, concealing. Bitterness, resentment, anger, hurtful words. Time, waiting cycles, moments. Bluff, pretending, mask, exaggeration. One more. All these cards are like black and white. Maybe somebody's mixed. Somebody's name is Brenda. Running, ghosting, disappearing, invisible. Well, that was an oddball. You got soulmates, obscurity, bitterness, time, bluff, and running. Is somebody running from you? Are you running from someone? Because it says ghosting, disappearing, invisible. Emotional storm is on the bottom. What's the soulmates? Deep love, unity, connection. Seven of wands. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's seeing you as their soulmate. Somebody's very protective of a connection between you and them. I don't know if there's been a lot of hate, a lot of outside interference. Somebody has rejected people for you because they feel like you're their person. What's the obscurity? Secrets, mysteries, concealing. Nine of Swords? Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody, the devil, Capricorn energy. Somebody can't walk away from you, but it's like a secret with the obscurity card, secrets, mysteries, concealing. You got the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Cups in reverse. There's somebody who emotionally can't walk away from you. They're stressed out over this connection, but they could be keeping it a secret. They could be concealing it. What's the bitterness card? Resentment, hurtful, anger. Purple words, anger. Somebody is bitter that you let them go. The devil again? <laughs> the fuck, Aries? Some of y'all got Capricorn in your chart. Um, somebody's bitter that you let them go. King of Pentacles. It could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. They could be somebody that got money, they got bread. Maybe that's why they thought you were going to hold on to them. I don't know. They could be very stable, but I mean, money is not everything. What's the time card? Waiting cycles, moments. The emperor. Hey, you. The king of swords, the star in reverse. There's something some of y'all, there's something some of y'all need to uh, take charge of and do. You need to get into your divine, masculine, divine, feminine, your major arcana, and you need to make something happen. There's something about you waiting for something to do something, because I don't know if you have a fear of failure, but you need to do it. Yeah, I don't know if somebody been talking in your head, telling you to wait. 
but there's something you need to take action on. That's not for all of you, but it says time, waiting, cycles, and moments. What's the bluff card? Pretending, mask, exaggeration. Be careful of some fake person around you. You can't actually trust this person. I feel like you've been seeing things with the Eight of Swords or you've been ignoring things. This has been on your mind, but then maybe you try to just push it away. There's somebody around you that you can't trust. Um, with the Seven of Swords, pretending mask. is like this person wears a mask around you. What's the running card? Ghosting, disappearing, invisible. Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups. The Two of Cups. Somebody feels like you, they love you and you ran from them. I don't know who this is. It could be a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. They feel like you, they feel a strong connection with you, but they feel like you ghosted them or you disappeared. So I don't know who this is. Could have been somebody that was giving you a lot of attention with the Six of Wands. What's the emotional storm? Turmoils, unstable, affected. Five of Wands in reverse. Be careful of somebody. Um, I don't know who this person is. They could be an air sign for some of you. This person, I don't know who this is. I, it doesn't even have to be love related. It's just telling me this person, they might have like tantrums or something. It's just saying just like feed this person with a long spoon like they used to say back in the day. Because this person, I don't know, I feel like they're unstable. They might have emotional, emotional, emotional outbursts or something like that. They might be going through something with money, with the nine of pentacles in reverse. I don't know who this is, but it's somebody who's unstable and it's saying to avoid drama. It's the devil again. What the fuck, dude? Why do you keep getting the devil? You got a lot of toxic people around you or trying to be around you. You need to be careful, Aries. Make sure you're doing your cleansings, your spiritual cleanses, burning your sage. That is crazy. Thug in y'all, take it slow. I haven't gone to a metaphysical store yet out here. I would have thought I would have done that by now. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Every day is like a new adventure. I've been loving it. Every day is like a new adventure. I went back to Target today. That was fun. Wasn't tipsy Target though. Wasn't tipsy target, so it wasn't as fun, but it was still fun. Make sure you guys hit the like button, okay? Subscribe, comment, share. My TV came, so I'm excited about that. going on with Aries in love the moon yeah there's definitely somebody who is hiding how they feel about you they're concealing how they feel six of cups there's a past person here that's been thinking about you a lot reminiscing about you and them which y'all had some of y'all this could be somebody from like school like when you were in school the Ace of Swords. Hmm. Ten of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. 
some of y'all got an earth sign in your energy, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Cancer, Pisces. Knight of Swords. Y'all got more than one person coming up. More than one. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini as well. Oh, and there's another person here. Damn, Aries. Bottom of the deck is the strength, Leo energy. You got three people here, King of Cups in reverse. So you have a water sign, an air sign, and an earth sign in your energy. Don't look at me like that. I'm telling you it's here. Yeah. All right, let's clarify these. Let's see what's going on. What's, what's going on? What's going on? What's, what's going on? Okay, Aries. Okay, Aries. That's why you got the Seven of Cups. You got a lot of eyes on you. You got some options up in here. Let's see what's happening. Some of y'all got Libra in your chart or you're dealing with a Libra. What's the moon? The eight of cups in reverse. I told you. There's somebody here that's hiding. Didn't that come out like literally on top of it? There's somebody who can't walk away from you. Yeah, the lovers in reverse. It's like an ex or a past lover. They want you to think that they don't want you to know they still got feelings for you. Could be a Gemini or a Cancer Pisces. Uh -uh. What's the Six of Cups? The Chariot. Cancer Energy. The Temperance in Reverse. The Two of Pentacles in Reverse. Yeah, there could be a Cancer or a Sagittarius person here. There's somebody from your past that's really been thinking about you and them a lot. Um, I feel like they're trying to move on, but with the temperance in reverse, it's hard for them. But they definitely have been thinking about you a lot. And the times y'all had together. What's the Ace of Swords? The sun, Leo energy. Somebody's going to reach out and it's going to make you happy. I don't know who it is. This person could have a baby. Five of swords and the sun with the knight of swords here. I see somebody reaching out and it's, it's, it's making you happy, but I don't know what that five of swords is about. I don't know. Let me get one more card on this, please. What is that Five of Swords about? Hmm. Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. It could, yeah, I see you being happy and excited when this person reaches out. But I feel like this is somebody who played a lot of games with you with the Five of Swords. That's mind games. The Seven of Pentacles means they are invested. So I don't know if this, maybe this is somebody who's plays games, is on and off with you. What's the Ten of Wands here? Yeah. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. The Magician in reverse. The Four of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy here. Um, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Magician in reverse. Hmm. Somebody tried to manipulate you and it, it didn't work and it's 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 bothering them. I don't know who this is. There's some manipulative person or somebody trying to manipulate you with the magician in reverse. But it seemed like it's not it's not working or they're having a difficult time doing it. So just be careful. 
What's this Knight of Pentacles? The world in reverse, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Who is this? There's something here about a rainbow. Let me know if that resonates. Somebody's name could actually be Rain, Teresa, Fred. I get Fred a lot. Um, five of Pentacles in reverse, two of Pentacles in reverse. The world in reverse. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit. A Virgo, a, a Sag. I don't know who this is. This is somebody that's interested in you, but okay. This is somebody that's interested in you. They might be a Virgo for some of you. They might be a Sag, Taurus, Capricorn. They're getting the Hermit card. This is somebody that might be older than you. They might be kind of like slow moving. They may like to be to themselves with the Hermit or they could, be, could like to be like in the house a lot. Like maybe they're a homebody. They're not a player, play it type person at all. They could have even been talking to somebody and like let the other person go because they wanted to focus on you because they're very focused on you. So this is somebody you're talking to. You could be currently dealing with and it might be an earth sign. What's the seven of cups? The six of wands. You get a lot of attention, Aries. Some of you could be in the public eye. You could be popular. You could even be famous for a few of you. Or you just like, you just get a lot of attention with that six of wands. That's why you got so many people attracted to you. There's something here about a bird. Let me know if that resonates. I don't know if somebody got like a pet bird. <laughs> See the page of pentacles is like, everybody want to talk to you. Like I'm seeing a lot of messages. So I don't know if you get a lot of messages from people or people literally try to talk to you all the time in the street. Like everybody want to talk to you type energy. Who is this Knight of Swords? Three of Pentacles in reverse. The devil. Again, from a whole nother deck. The Nine of Swords. Capricorn here. Um, this could be that unstable person I was telling you about from earlier. With the devil. <laughs> Just be careful with the three of pentacles in reverse. I mean, they could even have a third party. They might have addictions or just very unhealthy behavior. So just watch out for this person with the nine of swords. They got a lot of mental things going on. I don't know if this is just one of your options. Now, who's the king of cups in reverse? The queen of wands. King of Swords in reverse. There's somebody else here. I don't, yo, you got a lot of people in your energy, Aries. King of Cups in reverse. There's somebody who's like, you did get the bitter card. This feel like a bitter person with the King of Cups in reverse. Like they're bitter that y'all are not together. Y'all didn't end up together with the Ten of Cups in reverse. They're bitter that y'all didn't have this happily ever after. <laughs> Tell me more about this person. Five of Wands in reverse, the Emperor. Yeah, they wanted you. Whoever this is, this is somebody bitter and in their feelings because they thought y'all was going to end up together. Y'all didn't end up together. You got a lot of people in your energy. What's the strength? The King of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, I see you like you're getting stronger. A lot of you like are really focused on money right now because you got the King and the Knight of Pentacles. Like some of you might even be celibate. You know what I mean? You might just be chilling right now. Just focus on money, career. Then some of you also don't trust nobody with the Seven of Swords. I don't blame you because you got a lot of weird people around you. <laughs> 
a lot of weird. I mean, this person isn't weird. They just slow moving, but they're not weird. But I don't know what all this other shit was. And then this past person. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. So let's see, Eddies, what's happening in your love life in the future. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. Instagram and TikTok is Miss Hawaii Tarot. And if you want to become a member or join my astrology Patreon, all that information is in the description box. I'm very mellow for your reading, right? I'm very mellow. Maybe because it's what time is it? It's almost midnight. And I have a personal reading to do after this. So I ain't going to bed no time soon. And I got to get up early. They're coming to bring my mattress in the morning and my dining table set. So I'm excited about that. Okay, Aries. Um, thank you guys for all your love and your support. I hope to see you in the extended reading. But if not, I'll catch you in the next one. Okay? No problem. Thank you for your patience and getting this reading and waiting on this reading. I adore you. I love you. I'm always praying for you. I'm here if you need me. And you guys have a blessed rest of your week, all right? Stay prayed up. Stay blessed. Burn your sage. Eat your fruits, your vegetables, and your snacks. And just spread love. People need it. People need it. Give somebody a hug. Make them happy. Make sure somebody you know so you don't freak nobody out. All right. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.